Hello and welcome to CareerRight.com. I'm Nishant and in this video, I'm going to cover Oracle interview questions and answer. These are the most frequently asked questions in interview. So please stay tuned till the end of the video. Okay, let's begin with the first question. What is a view and how it is different from a table? A view is a user-defined database object that stores the result of a SQL query. You can refer a view as a logical table because it does not store data physically. A view is a virtual table that derives its data from one or more tables. A table holds data but not SQL query. You can update and delete data from a table but you cannot do so with a view. What is the use of with check option in views? If a view is created with with check option, row insertion is allowed based on some condition. With check option clause ensures the consistency of the view. It prevents visible rows from being updated to non-visible rows. What is a data dictionary and how can it be created? Whenever a new database is created, a database specific data dictionary gets created by the system. The data dictionary is where Oracle stores metadata about objects in the database. And you can think of it as the set of tables that keep track of your tables, indexes and other objects. For example, when you create a table, the table name, column names, types, table space and more are stored in the data dictionary. What is the difference between translate and replace? Translate is used for character by character substitution. It replaces a single character at a time. For example, here the first character of str replace will be replaced by first character of replacement string. The second character of str replace will be replaced by second character of replacement string and so on. Here in this example, you can see O is being replaced by A, A by E and G by I. So here the result is this. Replace. Replace function replaces the string with another string if it matches. For example, you can see Tutorial is being replaced by career and the result is career right. What is the use of NBL function? The NBL function is used to replace null value with another value. It lets you substitute a value when a null value is encountered. What is callless function? The callless function returns the first not null expression in a list. If all the values in the list are null, then the callless function will return null. What is law of data type? Law of is large object data type. Tables can have multiple columns for law of data types. But law of cannot be primary keys nor used with distinct, group by, order by or join. Types of law of are B law of, C law of and NC law of. BLOB. BLOB is an abbreviation for binary large object. BLOB accepts large binary object such as image and video files. CLOB. CLOB is an abbreviation for character large object and can store large amount of character data. NCLOB. NCLOB accepts CLOB data in Unicode that represents most universal standard which supports all major languages. What is the use of merge statement? Merge statement is used to select rows from one or more data source for updation and insertion into a table or a view. It is used to combine multiple operations. It can be used to combine insert, update and delete operations into one statement. 
What do you mean by group by clause? A group by clause is used in select statement to collect data across multiple records and group the results by one or more columns. What is a subquery and what are the different types of subqueries? A subquery is a query within a query which is used to get data from multiple tables. There are two different types of subqueries, correlated subquery and non-correlated subquery. A correlated subquery uses values from the outer query, thereby requiring the inner query to execute once for each outer query. There is a significant performance impact on the execution time of the query. And for that reason, correlated subqueries should be avoided if possible. And in many cases, a correlated subquery can be rewritten as a standard join. Non-correlated subquery A non-correlated subquery is independent of the outer query and it can be executed on its own without relying on main outer query. What is a database transaction? What TCL statements are available in Oracle? A transaction occurs when a set of SQL statements are either completed as a unit or undone as a unit. To control the execution of these statements, Oracle has introduced TCL, Transaction Control Statement, which includes commit, rollback, and save point. Commit is used to make a transaction permanent. Rollback is used to roll back the state of a transaction to last commit point. And save point helps to specify a transaction point to which rollback can be done later. What is cross join? A cross join produces the Cartesian product of two tables. A cross join will produce results which combines each row from the first table with the each row from the second table. It is formed when each row from one table is joined to all rows in another table. For example, here we have the syntax. In this, table 1 has been cross joined with table 2, which means each row of table 1 will join with each row with table 2. If first table contains 3 rows and second table contains 4 rows, then the result set will be 3 into 4 equals to 12 rows. What are temporal data types in Oracle? Temporal data types are used to store date, time and time interval information. Oracle provides three temporal data types that is date, timestamp, interval. Date data type stores different formats of dates. Timestamp data type stores different formats of timestamp and interval data type holds interval between dates and time. What is V-Array? A variable length array is quite similar to array of C++ or Java and it has fixed upper bound size that has to be specified when it is declared. A V-Array can only be used when you know in advance about the maximum number of items to be stored. What are the attributes of a cursor? Every explicit cursor has four attributes that is found, is open, not found, and row count. And all these attributes return useful information about the execution of a SQL statement. What are the various constraints used in Oracle? A constraint restricts the values in a database and we have six types of constraints in Oracle. Not null, unique, primary key, foreign key, check and default. Not null ensures that a column cannot have a null value. Unique ensures that all values in a column are different. A primary key is a combination of not null and unique 
It uniquely identifies each row in a table. Foreign key. Foreign key uniquely identifies a row in another table. A foreign key constraint requires values in one table to match values in another table. Check. Check ensures all values in a column satisfy a specific condition. Default. Default sets a default value for a column when no values is assigned. What is the difference between sub-STR and in-STR? The sub-STR function allows us to extract a substring from a string. Like in this example, three characters are required to be extracted from position 1 from this string. So the answer is this. In STR, the in STR function returns the location of a substring in a string. Like in this example, we would like to find out the position of second occurrence of hyphen in this string. So the answer is 14. What are the different Oracle database objects? We have Oracle database objects such as table, view, index, synonym, sequence, table space, and constraint. Table. Oracle stores information in the form of a table. View. A view is a virtual table derived from one or more tables. It is a way of hiding the logic. Index. An index is a performance tuning method to speed up the processing, especially searching. Synonym A synonym is alias name for a table. Sequence A sequence is a unique number generator which can be assigned to the primary keys of the tables. Table space Table space is a logical storage unit in Oracle. Constraint. A constraint restricts the values in a database. What is a table space? A database is divided into one or more logical storage units called table space. Oracle stores data logically in table space and physically in data files. What is bulk copy or BCP in Oracle? Bulk copy or BCP in Oracle is used to import or export data from tables and views, but it does not copy structure of the data. The main advantage of BCP is fast mechanism of copying data, and you can also take backup of the data easily. What is a raw data type? A raw data type is used to store variable length binary data or byte string. What is a snapshot in Oracle database? A recent copy of a table or subset of rows or column of the table is called as snapshot in Oracle. A snapshot is more useful in distributed computing environment. It helps in replicating data dynamically between distributed databases. Difference between hot backup and cold backup in Oracle. A database backup while it is still up and running is a hot backup and it must be in archive log mode. A cold backup is a backup while database is shut down. The database does not require being in archive log mode in this mode. What is the purpose of save points in Oracle database? Save points are used to divide a transaction into smaller phases. It enables rolling back part of a transaction and maximum of 5 save points are allowed in Oracle database. Will you be able to store pictures in the database? Yes, pictures can be stored in database using long raw data type. This data type is used to store binary data for 2 gigabytes of length. However, the table can have only one long 
raw data type. Explain the difference between ref cursor and cursor. A ref cursor is a data type whose value is the memory address of a query work area. But a cursor holds the rows written by a SQL statement. A ref cursor can be opened on the server and returned to the client as a unit rather than fetching one row at a time. Whereas a cursor cannot be returned to the client. A ref cursor is dynamic, it can be changed at runtime. Whereas a cursor is static, it cannot be changed at runtime. A ref cursor can be passed from one subprogram to other subprogram. But a cursor cannot be passed to other subprogram. What is global temporary table in Oracle and what are the benefits of it? Global temporary table is used to store temporary data in scenarios where complex calculation is involved. The data in this table is session specific, which means the data in temporary table cannot be shared with other sessions and is valid only until session is active. In Oracle, only the data in temporary table is temporary and the table is a regular object visible to other sessions. It is always a bad practice to frequently create and drop temporary tables in Oracle. What are the disadvantages of a trigger? Point number one, triggers can execute every time some fields in database are updated. If a field is likely to be updated often, it can become a big system overhead. Point number two, it is not possible to track or debug a trigger. Point number three, the triggers can be disabled accidentally or dropped by a person and triggers are not compiled. With this, we have come to the end of the video and if this video helps, please do like it and share with your friends. And you can also subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Thank you and I'll see you soon in the next video.